welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 2.36 and here we have three parts of this question so in part a we are asked that how many three digit numbers can be formed from the digits 0 to 6 okay so that are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 if each digit can be used only once okay uh, so here we have uh, this formulation in which again we have to see the supposition uh, we have here so we have to make the three digit combinations in such a way that each digit has to be represented only once okay? so again uh, seeing this uh, overall block and here we have different spots so here so this is basically the units spot so let me write it once this is tens spot and this is hundred okay. uh, so what do i have to do i have to see that how many choices do i have here in each block or in each spot here so in this first spot how many choices would i have so out of these seven choices i can write any number here but when i will write here zero it won't be the three digit number because it is not counted here uh, in this hundred block as the uh, three digit number so therefore i have to exclude it from this location so therefore the total number choices here i would have would be six because excluding zero i will have here six number remaining okay uh, so after a number has been used here how many choices would i have here so i can see here that at this 10th location okay or at this location where i will have the 10th digit what i can write here that i can also write here zero as well but not the digit which has been used here at this location so therefore these are the seven numbers in total while one has been used here so therefore i will have here six choices okay left here uh, at this spot Similarly, at this part, I can also use any of these uh, numbers, but not those which have been used in these uh, spots. So, therefore, when those two were excluded, how many choices would I have here? So, seven are in total, while two are excluded. So, I will have here five choices and then multiplying them together because of the reason I have previously told. Okay. So, multiplying them together, what I will get? I will get here six, five, thirty, thirty six is 180. So, I will have total number of choices equal to. 180 okay so this is what this is the solution for part a okay uh, similarly let me move towards the part b here and here we have to see that how many of these are odd okay so again let me have to consider the three digit uh, number here okay and because it is the same number but what i have to see that i have to see that how many of these 118 uh, combinations are odd numbers okay so let me first use our supposition from this units location and i have to see that how many uh, digit here uh, we have which i can use here okay uh, so uh, what are those digits so i can use here one three and five from these digits so therefore writing these here i will see that here i will have only three options to use while, while not the other one and uh, what are those options those are one three and five okay and now after uh, doing it let me move to my hundredth location okay and here i can see that after uh, using the one number here and after excluding the zero how many options would i have here as uh, the only combinations or the only numbers i will have here would be zero will be excluded and uh, the number which has been used at this one location or unit location will be excluded so i will have here five options okay so five options uh, will i have here and those will be used here and after it this 10th location uh, what how many options would i have here one has been excluded from here one this one which has occupied this part has been excluded so uh, how many options would i have here so uh, i will have here how much seven minus two or five as well because i can also use zero here as well but not at this hundred spot so multiplying them together what i will get i will get here 5 5 25 25 3 is 75 so out of these 180 locations i will have here 
75 numbers which are odd okay so you have to keep in your mind first of all you have to fill the location to which you are most concerned because for all the odd numbers if the number here at this unit location is odd that number would be odd so therefore you have to fill this location or seeing the condition uh, mentioned here you have to spot on this question so that is basically the uh, supposition you have to make in this question and the same scenario will have to be fulfilled in such questions in future okay? uh, similarly in part c here we have how many are greater than 330 okay so we have to uh, find out all the numbers which are greater than 330 so we have to find out all the numbers which are greater than 330 and composed of the, these digits so therefore i am going to divide this question in two parts so the numbers which are greater than 330 has been divided into three parts the first one is uh, greater than 399 okay and uh, the numbers which are between what which are between 330 and 399 okay so uh, we have to split it in these two scenarios and first of all so this is uh, greater than this one and greater than this one uh, as well so uh, let me first use this first scenario and here we have to see that in this scenario when the number will be greater than 399 i will have here three digits one two three and here we can see that all the numbers which will be here will be composed of how many digits so those would be four five six and these would be in the hundredth location which is here okay so i can very easily see that here how many choices do i have here so these can be made of either four five or six or so i will have here three choices okay so after filling this hundredth uh, location uh, i can fill this mid location tenth location or tenth spot by using any of the number which is mentioned here apart from the number which has been used here so therefore the seven numbers minus the number which is used here would be uh, six similarly the two numbers which are used here and um, uh, using the any other number here i will have here five choices okay so then multiplying them together and i will get three five fifteen fifteen six is how much so this would be 90 okay so the answer of this is 90 of this section similarly uh, for this section where all the numbers should lie between 330 and 339 uh, so let me solve it here and again this will be composed of the three digits here as well Okay. Uh, so i have to see that how many choices uh, do i have here because these choices has been uh, removed and these are placed here so these are already removed so i cannot use here four five six okay. similarly if i will use here zero one two those would be uh, not included in this limit so i cannot uh, also use these numbers as well so what is the choice here the only choice here is the number three so therefore i will only have this one choice here and that is uh, this three okay uh, similarly how many choices would i have here so here i can use how many uh, numbers can i use here so here i can use the numbers apart from 0 1 and 2 okay i cannot use them here similarly 3 is already used here so therefore i cannot only use this 3 here as well so therefore these are the uh, seven numbers seven minus these four are how much these are basically the three choices which i have to use uh, so after it what is what are the remaining numbers so after them at the units location i can use any number but not those which are already used here so therefore those would be seven minus two so seven minus two is five so now after eight i have to multiply them together and here i will get what this would be 15 okay uh, so these are basically the two choices which i have to make 
so after dividing them into these two choices what i have to do i will have to add them together okay so these two choices should have to be added because these number plus these numbers are the numbers which are greater than 330 so therefore the answer of it will be what that would be 90 plus 15 and that is 105 and that is the answer of my question which basically shows me the numbers greater than 330 so that is basically the answer of my question part so i hope you have understood the underlying concepts which we have been doing here and i have uh, made this clear to you guys that how to approach any uh, questions like this okay? so i hope um, the ambiguities are now clear so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box so see you soon